Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Johan Review. So today, I'm going to react to the episode 4 of Classroom of the Elite Season 3. So it's been a while since I actually watched this episode and I probably gonna backtrack to the other uh, previous episodes since I almost forgot about the what exactly going on. So uh i guess without any further ado let's watch the episode now so so that i can remember every uh thing i guess so yeah let's watch Mm hmm Okay, Miss Cole. Okay, okay. Wait, chocolate. Are they? It says chocolate cake, so I probably think she gonna give like a chocolate to Kiyotaka Ayano Koji. So maybe is it like Valentine's? I guess I have a feeling like it's probably Valentine if she's bringing a chocolate, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Yeah, so it is Valentine's Day. I I don't think Urikita will actually give out chocolates to anyone here. Not even Ayano Koji. Yep. I mean, we already know the pseudos like Horikita in it, but oh man, he doesn't have any chance though. No, <laughs> man, that is a full bug. You know, that is a package for tons of chocolate. <laughs> the dude's actually popular though, so they don't stand a chance against him. Really? Maybe there's actually a ulterior motives, you know. I think I remember that in the pre uh, previous season, she mentioned she wanted to take down Ayano Koji instead of Rigita, you know. So, who knows? This dude actually trying to expect to get something. I mean, he's expecting something, you know, this is the day, is the day.
Okay, this dude actually spying him. Oh yeah, this I remember this part. They're actually trying to talk, you know, this kind of me secret meeting, and then Enokoji actually saw this. I think I remember, but he didn't hear anything. I don't know. I kind of forgot about this one. Is this guy trying to uh, solve the puzzle about something's going on, like how you in downfall? I I think that this guy actually trying to get something on this one, you know. Uh, I doubt it that he can get information though, because as you can see, we, we got this chad here. And I, I don't think he's gonna start a rumors uh, about these two, you know. Mm, because that would be ridiculous. They could just say that it's something else, you know. That's the excuse. Um, are we not gonna see who, whose person they talking about, you know, because I guess it's probably gonna be in the next episode or I, I don't know. It's something important though, I guess. Late night. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna give out the chocolate. It's Valentine. He, she's gonna give it out, or someone's probably gonna saw that and then, you know, start a rumor. I don't know. Like the other guy who's telling them right now. Yeah. Uh, really? Yep, that is a very long time though. I mean, how long you guys been breaking a breakup, you know? So
That's true. <laughs> Emergency bank up. So this guy is just subtly interrupting them. I guess he, I don't know, trying to get some information by directly contacting these two. That is, this guy is just mind your own business, man. They're actually giving out like a, I don't know if that's a lame excuse or yeah, this guy is like not dumb enough, but I who knows <laughs> this two actually acting out really good, I guess. Especially uh, Karuizawa though. She know exactly what to say. It's like they prepared for this kind of situation, you know. Or I don't even know if this like impromptu. Or they already prepared a script, but no, I don't think I don't think so. Is he doing this on purpose to... Yeah, he's like trying to trigger. I know it doesn't work on him though. <laughs> this guy like ridiculous. How did he get the others? I thought he didn't get them. Are we, are we not gonna see how the other four chocolate came back?
Where is he going? Aruzawa? I mean, they did mention that they're gonna study late night. Oh, it's Chinose. Yep, seems like it. So why not you just see her though? Because he's worried for genosis? I think I'm starting to remember now something like uh, Sakayanagi mentions that she wanted to defeat class B or something. Yeah, I do remember that. What? Rumors again? I think I remember some kind of rumors before. Hmm. Weird. Like a nasty rumor, rumor, I think? I don't exactly remember. But I think that something happened before. Who knows? What the? Why there's so many rumors? Like, what? Oh no, someone actually mentioned Kiyotaka likes Kayorozawa, and not just that, the other one as well. Like, she's someone's like a prostitute in the middle school, I forgot the name. There's just so many information. This guy is problem. This guy is problem.
This guy's problem though. What in the world is going on at the end of the episode? I don't know what's that guy talking about, but I think I remember something few like I don't know for some reason I'm backtracking. Okay, like trying to remember something happening in the previous episode because right now I'm a little bit confused if either I forgot about something or maybe I just. Miss these parts in the previous episode, or maybe something like those, but I don't know exactly. But I have a feeling that this guy, uh, I did remember that uh, Sakayanagi is calling out to this guy, and then this guy suddenly met up with her, right? And then that's the thing, and then suddenly many things going on around, so I don't know exactly if. He's the one who's responsible about these strange rumors going around, but I don't know exactly why. Uh, okay, but I think I I know one thing. Like maybe the other guy who's following I know before the the ponytail guy. Uh, he must have told Sakenagi about what's going on to I know and Karuzawa and some of the others as well. Like I don't even know if. The rumors about the Satosan and Shinohara too or not, but something similar happened to Ichinose, right? Remember that? And they actually like change the topic for that, or maybe like brush off the rumors because it's just baseless rumors. It doesn't have any much evidence rather than just rumors. But this guy actually is trying to mock, uh, like trying to uh, in interrogate them, like something. I don't know why this guy. Like an idiot or something, but who knows? But throughout the rest of the episode so far, because I mean, uh, we got to see uh, you know, got some chocolate from Karizawa, that's good as well. While the other guy actually watched from afar to see what exactly I uh, know is, because as you can see, he uh, heard the name from the current student council president, you know, because he's. Horikita Manabu Senpai is very close to Aino Koji. That's one thing we know. And yeah, I guess that's the most of it. And Aino Koji actually visited Ichinosi because she's sick. And there's another part where he shows Karuzawa or something about a person that we didn't exactly see. We, probably we're gonna see that in the next, next episode. I don't know. But that's kind of mystery thing this anime of course so yeah there's so many things going on here so i'm probably gonna try and see uh maybe rewatch the other yeah, previous episode to make me remember everything because i've totally forgot a bit about it so yeah uh i guess that's the end of the uh, video so yeah if you like and subscribe to my video bye bye